Hello everybody, welcome to Coastal Crafts. Hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. So I'm back after a long week, lots going on at school and me kind of losing my voice. The weather's been rubbish, so um, I think that's why everyone's been getting ill. But I have picked up um, a whole load more from the... <coughs> Sorry, you can tell I'm losing my voice. Those children must not go near them. It's always hard when you're the teacher, isn't it? So the Sarah Davies Signa Collection, Signature Collection Parisian Collection. Um, I do hate to use the same word twice in one sentence, but I can't think how else to describe that. So obviously I'm always saying about how I love Paris. Um, and I've recently mentioned that we have, we haven't booked it yet, but we have basically got the date set out when we are going to go to Paris, only for a few days this summer, but it will be be great um so anything paris i love and i really wanted this collection and um i've had a few like, bits i picked up and i managed to get a load more stuff on ebay um, including this paper pad that i'm going to show you i would have liked a bigger paper pad um so i think i might have to invest in that as well so i'm going to go through the collection show you what i have what i own from it in case you're interested um and you can pick up bits and pieces on ebay you can pick up on amazon I think they've still got some stuff on the Crafters Companion website. Um, and then I'll show you what I have made with it to give you some inspiration. So that's enough chatter. Do a quick flick through. So I think it's it's just, it's kind of, um, it's pretty. It's got the Eiffel Tower in it. It's got flowers in it. And it's kind of, um, I guess, almost mixed media, the backgrounds. It makes a bit of effect. It's not really mixed media, is it? It's just, it's just a piece of paper. Um, but it's got that kind of effect where it almost looks textured and like different images have been kind of collaged on top of each other. So it's really pretty. You sort of got the pinks and purples at the start. Um, and then it goes into the teal-ish, I guess, that colour. And a lot of the images match the stamps and dies. I'm going to show you in a second. That's gone green now. Green's actually my favourite colour. Oh, hello, Bailey. I don't know if he's impressed, really. He'll probably tell you later what he thinks about this collection. But, you know, I do buy him plenty of food, so he has to let me have, have some crafty supplies. There we go. So that's the paper. That sort of inspires it all. Um, I'll show you the bit that I have pr previously bought, um, although I did get another one in when I picked it up on eBay, so I'm selling that one in my D-stash um, still to go. So you get um, part of the collection is this. What's it called? The Rosary Die, which makes rolled flowers. I've shown you these before, so it makes these really pretty flowers um although i need to have a bit more play around with that because i haven't done any more recently so that one i already owned and the other one that i already owned was this one so you can tell i picked this one up in tuesday morning when i was in america um which has the four different dies and i've shown this one before so i'm going to show this one in any detail but i will there's one of the one of the bits cut out and I'll show you the rest are in the card that I've made in a bit so you can see how it it doesn't um it doesn't cut along the bottom it leaves you a bit so I mean I guess you could fold it over and have them standing up I'm not sure if that's the intention or whether it's just have a bit of extra bit to play with but they're all for scene building so you have a little pop-up village couldn't you like play with it with little dolls so there is that one and that one's called scenic France so um, just put them down so you can see. So the new bits that I picked up um, recently in the last week include this one. So she's like Bon Voyage. Do you know what? I've not opened this one. I thought I played with all of them. I forgot to open this one and die cut this one. Ah, so Bon Voyage. Um, yeah, so I haven't die cut this one out yet. But I think I was saving this one to last. I thought, oh, that's going to take a whole load of paper piecing, isn't it? You've got paper piece, the bike and the lady. But we have the idea that you might have the lady with some of that scenery in the background. So it's good that I picked this up because I've forgotten I even owned that one. Um, then, oh, hello, keep knocking it now. Then you get the lady sitting at the table. And you can see I've just opened them up and shoved some magnetic sheeting. So I think I'm going to keep them all together in the original packaging to save plastic waste. So I have die cut her out. Well, there's her little chair. And 
And where is she? That's her. I've not made a card with this one, but see, she sits at a chair. I had her in black because it makes me sort of think, and she's got a gold hat. Um, sort of like classy lady. And the chair does kind of fit into her um, underside, her rear end, however you might like to call it. So she can sit there. She can also have a bit of bit of scenery going on in the background. So let me hold you. So that was just um, a simple bit of, you know, die cutting it, snipping it apart and sticking it back together with different papers on. Um, so there we go. I think she's really cute. And I did have her little table somewhere, but who knows where that's gone. Um, and then there's this one. This was my least favourite, probably of the whole set, apart from the little poodle. So you get the poodle, the two, the couple holding one arm around each other on the bench and some grass. So I have cut these ones out. Put it all in a pile. My total lack of organisation. Let's grab them. So I just had to go colouring these ones because I say they were my least least favourite. Right, let's pull the pot over. The pot over where I have been putting the bits and pieces. So that is the poodle. I've done that in silver, which makes it kind of awkward. I like the poodle. I think the poodle's really cool. Um so there we go. And you couldn't really have the poodle, could you, mixed in with that? It sort of have to be really far away, otherwise it's like, oh, I've got a tiny dog, a really tiny poodle. Um, but it kind of matches in. But this is the couple. This is the one that I was the least keen on because I felt it's a bit too tiny to be paper piecing. So I coloured it in with Copics and I just it just doesn't look quite right, does it? So maybe I just need to, to fiddle around with it a bit more and I'll be happier or maybe just use it as a silhouette. That's her table, give her a table. Um, I don't know, I will have a play with that to see how I can feel happy about it. And here we go, here's a pink poodle. I like the poodle. So I like the poodle, but not so keen on that bit. Sorry, it's gonna keep, it's gonna keep moving my hands just to, to irritate you. Um, what was that one called? Je t'aime, je t'aime. Um, as someone pointed out on my d video, yeah, I'm not really very good at speaking French. So there we go. Um, so all I can say when we go to France, I can say like, je voudrais un gâteau de chocolat and où est la discothèque? So um, we shall be eating cake and going to the disco. Yep. Parisian border. This is like a fence. So I die cut this one out here. It's almost like you could have like a really nice trellis fence. I mean, this doesn't have to be Paris at all, does it? I mean, quite a few of these don't, you know, the lady doesn't really need to be fenced. So she could be like here eating. This actually reminds me of that little cafe in Central Park. Us like sitting there, not that I look like that, eating with like the railings going around. But she could be there eating or she could be this side inside the railings with some background. And it is really pretty. And I guess you could cut off these bits as well and just have it as like a strip. So that's cute. Sorry about the shine. That gets glare, as people call it. That's I just move them out of the way. You don't need to stare at them, do you? If you want to stare at them. Then there is this die set, which was floral borders and corners. Um, and you get some really big ones. Like that one is massive. And you get some smaller ones. So I've used some of them in some cards, but I'll also show you. So they look bit like this this is like the middle one so it's lovely to go in a card but I'm thinking like with that big one which to me is you know is way too big really to go in a card for the size of cards that I make anyway I think that would be really nice in scrapbooking but I think they're quite pretty aren't they they've got a slight amount of detail Let's see if you can see it on the petals but not a lot but yeah I think they're effective and what other ones have I got that I've cut out and there's this one. We also see it on some of the cards that I've made shortly. That's like a border, which would look nice to go with it. So, yeah, I think that's a useful set, the floral borders and and corners. Um, then you get your old classic Eiffel Tower. And I have been wanting just an Eiffel Tower die for a while. Um, I think that's useful. It's, it's a big size. That is like a full card size to me. That would really fill your card up. I have pretty, I think in one of the cards that I've made, purely Paris. Um, I mean, that's what Paris is all about, isn't it? So I'm looking forward to going up the Eiffel Tower. I've never been up the Eiffel Tower. Not that I'm expecting, you know, it to be romantic. I'm sure um, Mr. Coastal Cross will just talk about the increased terrorism. Also going with my friend and 
just look, look around it with your friends and I'll just be running around getting over excited, taking lots of photos. But there we go, that's um, that's in sparkle card and that's in, in silver. It's gone all bendy, hasn't it? And what other ones are just dies? This one. Ooh la la. Um, can't show you the die because I've stuck it onto, I mean, I shan't show you the die cut because I've stuck it onto the front of a card, but you'll see that shortly. Ooh la la, it's called. And I saw this on a, um, a project someone else had made and really liked it. And that was another one that I was really keen to get. So you get the, the scripty bit with the word and you get the background and it's really thin and delicate and fancy. My handwriting is absolutely terrible. Um, I couldn't write like that. Probably shouldn't admit to that being a teacher. You'd expect me to have nice handwriting, but no, it's absolutely horrendous. This one, um, so these are the last of the dies. They are die and stamps. Unfortunately, with these crafters companion things, they are just acrylic stamps, but I'm going to let them off, you know, just this once. So we've got Bon, B-O-N-N-E and B-O-N. Um, unfortunately, well... So you have that for the feminine words and that for the masculine words, but they don't tell anyone here which words are feminine, which words are masculine. So you have to like Google it and work it out. So bon voyage, I know those two go together, but like, I don't know, I'd have to Google them to work out because it's which word is masculine and feminine, isn't it? Um, but there we go. That's only, only frustrating to someone like me who doesn't speak French that I'd have to look that up. That's bon, it's pretty, isn't it? It's pretty, um, pretty scripty font and there's, Bon again with an E. I don't know whether you pronounce it slightly differently when it's French. Bonne. Because I, I barely got the language when I was learning it, let alone the pronunciation. But there we go. And you get two different fonts. You get this um, a bit more scripty, but it's not joins with somebody scripty, is it? And you, you're just your general. I kind of think what font that reminds me of. Something quite straightforward and dull. Not quite times new roman doll french sayings that is um yeah don't ask me what they all mean i don't really know I'm gonna be honest i don't really know um then <laughs> lots of bums today i got very excited about these actually these are one of the things i was the most excited about the 3d embossing folder now i had a 3d embossing folder that i got in a um magazine set you know they do those magazine sets and i didn't have much luck with it but these ones just gorgeous and I have had more luck well I had to play around for a while and work out look at that design that to me is beautiful and it's peony trio that's beautiful um so I had a bit of a play around so first of all I was kind of thinking I remember watching a video when Tim Holt did his and he said spray the, the paper with water and then put it sure that's what he said I mean don't hold it to me if you're watching Tim Holt if you are watching hi I love you um you know to wet it so it doesn't so it's got the flexibility in it so that's what I tried there and that's beautiful that's just ordinary paper because I was just testing it out um and then I also tried it out in foil um which is hard to see on camera which is pretty isn't it and one that I I I was obviously so enthusiastic that I cut it out, but it's massive, isn't it? Although I think that would look gorgeous on a scrapbooking page. Um, and then I remembered that I had the adorable, scorable paper. Actually, I can't show you that because that's, I'll show you that in like two seconds when I show you the other embossing fold. I'll show you the other one now. This is the other 3D embossing fold. I remember I had the adorable, scorable paper from Hunky Dory. Um, and I remember that the, the key thing about that was it does emboss and fold really nicely. So I ran it through that and I was totally in love. I'm just gonna have to buy more Hunky Dory cardstock for embossing because this is what it's all about, isn't it? Um, I have done the peony one in this type of cardstock, but I put it on a card now, so you have to wait a second until I show you the card. This is the um, Bonjour Paris, Bonjour Paris 3D embossing folder. And just look at that. And just, it's so crisp, isn't it? It doesn't, See, this is using maybe ordinary card, and you can see where, the, where it's damaged the paper, and then you get a beautiful hunky dory card, and it looks gorgeous. Um, so there we go. So I have a new love for um, 3D embossing folders. It turns out it's a new new thing that I've got myself into. And I've got to stop getting into stuff because I just end up buying too much. Um, right, what else comes? So you get these stamps. 
So this one is just like thinking of you with love, just general sentiments. Initially, I wasn't overly excited, but then um, I realised that they are quite a pretty font and that is quite useful. And I quite like having the kisses. I think that's quite sweet. It's everyday greetings. So acrylic again. So not wonderful quality, but we're letting them off, I think. Um, then we get these ones. I really like these, actually. These are French stamps. Um, and when I've been stamping them, they've come out kind of distressed in effect. As in, you know, they haven't stamped really clearly. Not sure if that's the int intention or if that's because they are acrylic and don't stamp really well. But what I've done so far, and I'm going to use these on a project, is I've stamped and embossed them and used some Distress Oxide in the background. And then I'm just going to use them like ephemera. But I really like them actually, even though they haven't, you know, they haven't stamped gorgeously. Uh, what other ones have I got? Make sure, make sure you see my favourite ones. Where's the little poodle? Have I shown you the poodle? Where's the poodle? I don't really associate windmills with France, but what do I know? Look, that's my favourite. It's the poodle. I'm all about the poodle. Sunflowers, you see what I mean? It's it's quite, it's not come out clearly, but I don't, you know, it could just be because it's an acrylic stamp or maybe that's the, I don't think that's the intended effect, but you could say, you know, because it's old and I'm going for that kind of old vintage style with these for ephemera. So, yep, I really like those. I'm not using them on a project yet, but that's what they are like. Um, then we've got this one which is the lovely Eiffel Tower again. And I felt kind of with all these stamps from this collection, they are more just kind of stamp and emboss as opposed to colouring. They, you know, the designs, so it doesn't have to be embossed, but they don't seem to lend themselves to um, colouring just the way they're drawn. The Francais. Let's have a lucky here. So... That's quite, it's not the world's greatest thing in any way, shape or form, but that's stamped in Distress Oxide and clear embossed and then watercolored. So saying it's not great for coloring and then I've gone and colored it in. I actually like this bit that I've colored in the watercolor. Then I went for watercolor backgrounds and I didn't like the background, but um, I like this bit. So I might do something like that again. So nice as a little background. That's that one. Let's skip to this one because I've got another version of this. This is like a, a background stamp as well. We don't have to use it as a background, but that's what I think it's intended for. I don't know how you pronounce that. Provencal peony? I mean, I can pronounce peony. I'm not totally incapable. Um, there we go. Just using a bit of Distress Oxide. And this is probably just one that I'm kind of playing around with as a page. I don't know whether I'll actually like that enough to use it, but I mean, this one that I printed out, I might, you know, I have used one for a card. And that's that one. And then this one, that the stamped out version I've used for a card, so you see it in a second. This is just a background with lots of different words like Moulin Rouge, Amour, Au revoir. Au revoir. It reminds me of what are those two little little kids who had Tilly and Tommy or something I don't know and Tots TV and they would sing a bit in English and a bit in French and I don't know maybe kids learnt French that way I don't know if it would work for me but yeah oh uh, sorry I keep knocking that then um you get the metal charms you can see I've not even opened these or used them yet and I was going to open them now and stick them in my container, but I, th I think that's unnecessary for you. I'm sure you're not that fussed about me opening them. You can see them. They're cute. I will use those. I do like charms. And then you get the vintage lace. And I will open this and show you. Ah, can't see that well. And what's the point in owning something if you don't open it? That's what I say. I'm not, I try not to be one of these people. I definitely not when those people who keep stuff in their wrapping as much as like part of me would like to but i feel like you can't just can't use it so it's not very exciting lace if i'm honest um i kind of like the wooden spool it's on more than i like the lace but i can always use lace so this all came together in a bundle in case you are wondering otherwise i probably wouldn't have bought the lace but yeah i mean it's pretty but i'm not i'm not enamored 
buy that. I've not used it yet either. So that's all the bits that I have picked up. So all you need to do now is have a look and see what I have made. So if we move the bits out of the way. So first of all, using that amazing 3D embossing folder. And I just love the image so much. And this is on Hunky Dory Adorable Scorable Card. I couldn't bring myself. To, I kept thinking, oh, should I do this to it? Should I do that to it? And I just, I just couldn't. I just loved it too much. So I've just left it fairly plain. These just come from that Hunky Dory kit that I picked up fairly recently and so does the paper as well but I just that's just beautiful isn't it the more I look at it the more I sort of love it um there we go and I just stuck that on the inside so yeah it's so big though isn't it look at my hand I such a big embossing folder then we move on to that ooh la la die cut and using some of the paper there as the backdrop. You can see how delicate that was, but it did all cut out very nicely. And that is the stamp in the background. So embossed and um, then coloured with Distress Oxides, a bit of water on there to add the watery effects and a bit of lace. And I think that sort of does the job for the cards. Have I put anything inside? No. No. Oh, it's all going everywhere. Did I show you this one? I don't even remember showing you this die. Let me just hold it out for a minute. Hmm. Can't see it, but anyway, if I didn't show you this one, this is the one with the girl, so this one also came. Kind of don't remember showing you, but yeah, so also got this die for this lovely lady looking. That's also cut in the adorable, scorable card. You can see how nicely that ANSI embossing in there. That's the Eiffel Tower die. Those are those edges, the smallest edges in the pack. And that is that background stamp, which has been stamped in Distress Oxide and embossed. Um, so, yeah, I don't often put loads of die cuts on a card, but I quite like that. You know, it's quite simple, but I like it. This is one of those sentiments, and I would say that I am at, from the French no simple sentiments or whatever it's called stamps that I just showed you I would say I'm responsible for messing up on the embossing and that's why the dots are there um so it did stamp fairly nicely to a dear friend see I've added the kisses I like the kisses um so that's those three and last but not least these are the French scenic or scenic France dies and also that Bon Voyage with the Bon dies um oh and the um out a bit and the paper as well so use quite a bit in there and also add a bit of glitter to this one thing I, I will say I did most of this was die cut on this card out of um hobbycraft card that does not die cut well with these dies I guess it is cheap card but it did not die cut well so that is a shame but I like that I think that's cute bon voyage I don't know who that would go to Go to myself. I give myself a card. Bon voyage, you're going on holiday. Not for ages though. Uh yeah, so I like that. I like it all. <laughs> I like it all. I just like Paris. I like France stuff. I like having a whole collection that I can just play with. Um apologies, I seem to have misplaced one of the dies. So apologies to myself because it's mine and I want to find it. So I'll look for that later. But as you can see, that's what it looks like if I didn't show you earlier. So yeah, hope this gives you some inspiration. If you have bought this set from Crafters Companion, if you haven't, check out the various places where you can pick it up um, and yeah, pick up the bits that you like or go crazy like me and buy it all. And I better go because it's been a really long video. Speak to you soon. Bye.